Okay, today I'm going to use a very quick way to explain what is the meaning for translation. Okay, translation is from here is from modern max and then it's under the transformation chapter. Okay, actually translation is very simple. What you really need to remember about translation is that when you see this one in the this one we call it metric in the metric form or in the vector form. Okay, you have to remember the top here is mean x and y. What is the meaning for x and y? If you learn about geometric coordinate, you will know actually x is mean moving in the x axis. Y will mean actually moving in the y axis. Means in the x axis, the coordinate is only moving on the left or right. Okay, that's that's mean for x axis. And then you will see y y mean mean moving in the y axis. Y acid will mean that actually the coordinate is moving up and down. Okay, so actually I here I provide four information. So some cases you will see the negative and some cases you do not have the negative. So I hope these four cases can give you some some breakthrough. Okay, first we see the first translation. Most of the time exam you will use T for translation, but then but then the, they, they can use any alphabet they feel comfortable. Okay, so first you see t equal to 4, negative 2. When you see 4 here, 4 means actually positive. We know that in the x axis, positive means moving this way. In the x axis, negative means moving this way. So therefore, 4 we know actually the coordinate is moving this way by 4 units. Okay, this is the meaning by 4. And then I see negative 2. Negative 2 means for y acid, positive means moving go, go up. y acid, negative means moving down. So negative 2 means in y acid, he moving down 2 unit. Moving down 2 unit, we call it negative 2. Okay, this is the meaning by 4, negative 2. Okay, so what's, what if uh, he said translation in negative 3? Three? 3. First one is for x x negative 3, I say this is x negative 3 mean moving this this direction. So actually, he moving this direction, negative 3, 3 unit. Okay, moving this direction, 3 unit. And what is the meaning by 3? 3 means positive 3 for y. y means have to go up. So you go up another 3 unit. This is meaning by negative 3 and 3. You see negative for x means actually you have to move to your right hand uh, left hand side. Okay, you see positive, you see positive three it means actually you have to move up three units. Okay, okay, this one how about both also got negative? Okay, the first one, the top one is for x. So negative one it means actually you are moving left hand side for one unit. And then you you have negative two. No, negative two means moving down for y acid. One two. In moving down two unit, we call it negative two. Okay, and then if you see both also positive. Okay, first three is for x. X positive means actually you are moving to this direction. Three unit. And then you see two on the bottom. Two is for y. Mean you have to go up. Two units. Okay. I, I think translation is the most easy one in the exam. So here actually I put some coordinate to help you better understanding about this one. So okay. I I just choose few to try. Okay. First I, I choose this one negative two and uh, negative one and negative two. So negative one is for x, negative two is for y. Okay, this one for y, this one for x. So negative two. If a is here, negative one first. Negative one actually you are moving this direction for one unit, and then you have the negative two. Mean actually you are moving down one unit, two units. You are moving down two unit. Therefore, the new coordinate a will be here. Okay, okay. What happened before this translation? Okay, the exam asked for t square. T square means actually this translation happened two times. Mean you have to happen the first time, and then you happen another time. 
Okay, this is the meaning for t squared. Okay, now the first t we happen already. Negative one, negative two. Means he said two time means you have to happen one more time. Negative one, one unit. Negative two, two unit. Means the new a will be here. Okay, so for he move to the first a. This one we call it first translation. So he move from here to here. This one is called T. Okay, if you move from A to here, this one we call it T square. It actually, he happened negative, negative 1, negative 2, two times. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2. This is for T square, means you always will see in the exam. Okay, and then what happens if the exam actually he will give you a triangle actually if the exam will give you a triangle let's say this triangle okay maybe he say this triangle A B and C okay I choose one of the movement for this one let's say I choose the first one 4 negative 2 first I know the 4 actually is for X negative 2 is for Y okay so first Mean actually, the, tri the triangle actually formed by three coordinates. Mean three coordinates, three of this A, B, C, you also need to move 4 and negative 2. So I move, as let's say, I move 4 for B first. So 4 for B will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, 4 units. And then negative 2 for Y, negative 2 means move go down. 1, 2. Two units. So this one will be the coordinate for B. B. Okay. If you are smart enough, actually you, you will know A will be here, C will be here. Because the triangle is same size. But then if you cannot see this thing, never mind, you can still move one by one. Okay. You see A, we move four units here. So you have one and then 2, and then 3, and then 4, and then move down 2 units, 1, and 2. So actually, you will see, he will reach it A here also. Okay, same to C also. You can move the C, 4, 2, you will reach at the same place. This is the way to actually move the triangle. As long as you understand the translation, no matter what shape he gives you, you can easily get it. Okay, I hope this translation video can help you understand about translation. Okay, because translation is the most easy to get mark in transformation. Okay, thanks for watching.